Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday, March the 14th, 2016. And this is a follow-up to my video, NASA ISS Chroma Key Green Screen Hoax, D-I-T-R-H Debunked, which I uploaded on March the 3rd, 2016. In this video, we took a look at the claims in the video, NASA using green screen to fake ISS footage by D-I-T-R-H, or Deep in the Rabbit Hole. And uh, here is the video by Deep in the Rabbit Hole. Let's take another quick look at the video and see what we're looking at here. So according to Deep in the Rabbit Hole, uh, this is astronaut Tim Peake in the background here, spinning a green ball against what Deep in the Rabbit Hole claims is a green screen, or a blue screen, or chroma key screen, similar to the one that we see here, where you can replace the background by picking the colour and replacing it. Now just to be sure about what Deep in the Rabbit Hole has said in their video, let's take another look. This caption, Astronaut Tim Peake being filmed in front of a chroma key screen. We see the title down here says NASA using green screen to fake ISS footage. And if we scroll down further, when we get past the offers of uh, their sales for t-shirts and hoodies, we see that they say that the cameraman caught a screen with astronaut Tim Peake being filmed in front of a green screen to fake another ISS scene. But is that really what we're seeing in this video by Deep in the Rabbit Hole? Let's take another look. A number of people have posted links to another video claiming that this is an ORAD screen. So we're going to take a look at the ORAD screen and compare the two. Here is one of the videos that has been posted in response to my debunking video showing the ORAD Virtual Set Technologies screen with the grid in the background. This video by Dana Lee. The original video is by ORAD High Tech Systems. Pattern recognition. But let's have a look at the video by Dana Lee because it does offer a clearer version of the video. ORAD's pattern recognition tracking technology is undoubtedly the most cost-effective and simplest tracking system available. Based on proprietary algorithms developed by ORAD, the system extracts camera position, orientation, and field of view from the video signal itself. Therefore, installation and setup is extremely easy and quick. Similar in nature to barcode technology, ORAD's pattern recognition tracking system utilizes traditional blue or green screen chroma key techniques. By adding grid lines of a similar blue or green hue onto the backdrop, the system recognizes and processes the overlaid information by reading the video signal. Now there's one thing that I've noticed about Flat Earthers and certain other conspiracy believers is that their comprehension and listening skills are not too sharp. First of all, let's look at the grid in the background of this video and compare it to the grid that we see in the video by Deep in the Rabbit Hole. Now, what are the differences that we see? Well, first of all, this screen here is a blue screen. We see a deep blue color and a light blue color. The grid that we see in the background of Deep in the Rabbit Holes video has a blue screen with white on it. In this video by the European Space Agency, ESA, we can see that the screen is blue and white. It is not dark blue and light blue. It is two distinctive colors, blue and white. Now why is this important for the green screen or blue screen or chroma key technology? Let's take another look. So I've imported the ORAD Technologies video into Pinnacle Studio 12 along with the video from the European Space Agency with that screen in the background. Now let's compare the two. In the ORAD Technologies video, we can see that we've got a dark blue background with a light blue grid. Whereas in the European Space Agency's video, we've got a dark blue background with a white grid. They are two distinctive colors. We don't see light blue on dark blue here. We see white on dark blue. So let's see what difference this makes to the chroma key process. So as you can see, I've got the chroma key window open here and it's set for a green screen. So let's change this to a blue screen 
and already you can see the difference that it's made. But notice that as I switch the chroma key enabling on and off, we don't see a grid in the background. We see a clear background with no grid. Now let's try the same thing with the European Space Agency video and see what happens. Let's enable the chroma keying with a blue background and what do we see? We see a white grid against the background instead of a clear background. Let's find that scene in the video where we've got a close-up of the grid. Here it is. So let's replace that now with the background and again we see that we've got a white grid. That is because they are two distinctive colours, not light blue on dark blue, as we see in the ORAD Technologies motion tracking video. That is because the video that we see in the European Space Agency video is showing a motion tracking screen and not a green screen, blue screen or chroma key screen. This is for tracking the motion of the object as he is demonstrating here in the video. We're looking at the background to show the motion of the object as it moves in front of the screen. It is not a green screen or blue screen screen for replacing the video with another source. Now remember what I said earlier about flat earthers and certain conspiracy believers and their lack of comprehension and listening skills? Let's listen carefully again what they say about this green screen, blue screen technology. ORAD's pattern recognition tracking system utilizes traditional blue or green screen chroma key techniques. By adding grid lines of a similar blue or green hue onto the backdrop, the system recognizes and processes the overlaid information by reading the video signal. By adding grid lines of a similar blue or green hue onto the backdrop, by adding grid lines of a similar blue or green hue onto the backdrop, a similar blue or green hue onto the backdrop, by adding grid lines of a similar blue or green hue. That's right, if I'm not mistaken, the man said, by adding grid lines of a similar blue or green hue onto the backdrop. Yet what we see in the European Space Agency video is a backdrop with two very distinctive colours, dark blue and white. White is not a hue of blue. Now, it appears that if NASA are intending to uh, fake videos using a background screen, it looks like they're going to have to get a new background screen, one that doesn't have a white grid in the middle of it. And as for deep in the rubbish hole, they're going to need to go back to the drawing board. And as always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.